Sponsored by Bozeman based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Once again, we're outside Region 3 headquarters with Morgan Jacobs. And uh, Morgan, uh, going on here and uh, some other places around Southwest Montana, CWD testing, uh, mm -hmm. the sampling uh, is uh, ongoing. Let's talk about uh, that process if we can. Yeah, you bet, Chet. So uh, this year, again, uh, Southwest Montana is part of the priority surveillance uh, area uh, for monitoring chronic wasting disease in Montana. Uh, and so this year is uh, during the, the general hunting season, uh, hunters can expect to see CWD sampling stations uh, throughout the state, but especially here in Southwest Montana. Um, and, and those are optional uh, stops for them if they would like to get their animal tested for chronic wasting disease. Uh, these uh, sampling stations make it a really easy process. Now, the, the, the testing, does that have to do, I mean, is there an outcome for you if you're going to, to use the meat uh, and that kind of thing? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, you know, uh, while CWD is not known to be transmissible to, to humans, mm -hmm. um, you know, the <clears throat> we follow the, the recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, which is not to consume the meat if, if uh, the animal tests positive for chronic wasting disease. Uh, they also recommend getting the animal tested if you're hunting in, a, in an area that is known to, to have CWD on the landscape. And so um, that encompasses, you know, a lot of areas in Montana. Um, mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, these uh, testing uh, um, options for hunters are, are again, free mm -hmm. uh, for them. Uh, you know, testing also uh, helps us monitor and manage uh, chronic wasting disease uh, in Montana as well. So really it's, it's a kind of a win-win uh, option for hunters. Yeah, I was going to mention that we know CWD is here in, in these places that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, that added uh, piece of information uh, from as many hunters who possibly can help out with that though will go to helping ultimately be able to manage it, I would think. It does. You know, we really want to have a current um, uh, you know, understanding of the prevalence and distribution of the disease on, on the landscape here in, in Montana. So, uh, you know, testing helps us achieve that. Uh, you know, a couple of things for hunters to keep in mind if they plan on going through a chronic wasting disease sampling station uh, is uh, one, you know, you can look up the locations and hours of these stations on our website. Uh, so you know, you know when to stop by. Uh, you know, just as a, you know, an example, we have them here in Bozeman at our regional office, as well as in Butte and uh, Dillon. Um, but each of those have different hours, so make sure you check that out. Uh, you know, bring uh, the at least the head with at least four inches of neck attached, uh, unfrozen, so that we can take that sample uh, easily. Um, and then also be prepared to uh, provide details on the location of your harvest. So that includes GPS coordinates or a township range and section um, information so that, so that we can document where that sample was, was, was taken from. That's perfect. Again, Morgan Jacobson talking this morning about uh, CWD uh, sampling that is going on around the area and uh, the opportunity uh, for hunters to participate in that. Only going to help out fish, wildlife, and parks and our wildlife populations. That's right. It's a good Good thing to do. All right. Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by Bozeman-based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel.